We aren't the only ones keeping an eye on the coronavirus. Now on your feet at five, no fans allowed. The Olympic Committee banned all fans from watching the Olympics in person later this month. And this all stems from the country declaring a COVID state of emergency this morning. Yeah, that's right. Our sports director, Jim Donovan, joins us now with the latest on this. Hi, Jimmy. What's going on, Tokyo? Boy, I'll tell you what, this is a uh, severe blow once again to these Tokyo Games. A lot of times you can say a big event, if it runs out of steam in the second week like the Olympics, you could say it's limping to the finish line. These Olympic Games are limping to the start line. So the big announcement today from the government of Japan, no fans will be allowed at any of the venues for the extent of the Olympic Games of Tokyo. The reason is because of another severe outbreak of coronavirus. In fact, they've put the country into their fourth state of emergency. And this state of emergency is being put into effect before the Games begin and will last from beyond when the games would come to an end. And so, therefore, the stands will be empty. Now, remember, we've gone through different stages of this. First of all, it was no international fans were going to be allowed in. And then they loosened a little bit and said, well, we'll allow 10,000 fans at venues, but they all must come from the host country, Japan. And now this today, so you can imagine what is going to happen here. How will the athletes feel? How will they feel in the opening ceremonies marching into the stadium, which is always a huge event waving to the crowd but there will be no crowd there there will be no crowd at any of the events but the Olympic Games are going to go on, gang, and here is why, okay? The IOC, their operating budget, is controlled 75% according to broadcast rights mm -hmm. fees. If these games did not happen and were not televised, they would lose between three and four billion dollars. Wow. So they are saying the games will go on and you can only watch them on television and at least we'll get our rights fees paid. Well, and there's been billions of dollars paid out to build up all the venues in yeah. Tokyo mm -hmm. and all the right. marketing and all that surrounds it. And a lot of their revenue is paid back through fans. Absolutely. The ticket revenue is not going to come right. into these games. And you're right. The, the cost of hosting the Olympics with all of the new structures you have to put up, mm -hmm. stadiums at these venues, um, is just astronomical to begin with. Sometimes even with a full capacity, you never get the money back. Right. Now they're not going to get any of the money back. So it's another shot. This is like a fighter who gets trapped in the corner in his mm -hmm. bout, and the other guy just keeps hitting him and hitting him, and you can't get out of the corner. And that's what's going on with these Olympic Games. It's really tough to watch. But the games themselves will go on. Absolutely. We will see them right here on Channel 3 starting on the 23rd. Two weeks from tomorrow. All right, okay. we got it. Thanks got so much, Jimmy. You got it.